What's going on guys? John Elder here from CodingMe.com and in this video, we're going to fix the decimal problem with our calculator for Kiwi and Python. Alright guys, like I said, in this video, we're going to look at the decimal problem. But before we get started, if you like this video and want to see more like it, be sure to smash the like button below, subscribe to that channel, give me a thumbs up for the YouTube algorithm, and check out CodingMe.com where I have dozens of courses with hundreds of videos that teach you to code. Use coupon code YouTube one to get $30 off membership with all my courses, videos, and books for one time fee at just $49, which is insanely cheap. Okay, in the last video, we worked on some of these secondary buttons. And very quickly, I coded a little the dot thing here and sort of on the fly added something to where we don't get more than one decimal point at a time. So we can't put like 3.0.6.7, right? It's just 3.0. But in doing that, we sort of introduced a bug that I didn't notice at the time, and somebody mentioned afterwards in the comment section, that if we have another number, for instance, two here, and we want to add a point, a decimal point to it, we can't, right? So very quickly, we're going to knock this out. It shouldn't take very long. So this is going to be a short video. We are taking Aspen to the vet, actually, today to get spayed. So some of you guys know Aspen from past videos. So uh, be thinking about Aspen today. Uh, so, so let's head over here, and I've got our calc.kv file and our calc.py file from the last video. If you didn't see the last video, check the link in the comment section below. And so let's just come down here to the dot section. And here's where we we did the code yesterday. So what we did was we said, hey, if there's a dot already in our text box, don't do anything, right? Otherwise, add a dot towards the end. Well, right here, you probably notice if we do this and there's already a dot in the first number, so 3.0 plus 2.0, we can't add the 2.0 because this thing right here is not allowing us to do that. So how do we fix that? Well, we've got our prior thing already here. And let's go ahead and break this up. So if we've got 3.0 plus 2.0, those are two sets of numbers and they're separated by the plus. So let's break this up like we did way back in our math section where we split everything into a Python list. So let's do that again. Let's come up here and let's just paste this in. And let's say uh, split our text box by plus. Now we've only got plus right now, so this is all we have to do. Once we work with the other math signs minus multiplication division, we'll have to modify this more. But for now, this will work because we only have plus. So we're going to split all of our things into that. So now let's create a new if statement. Let's go if, and let's test to see if plus is already in prior. Right? If it is, what do we want to do? Well, we want to just do all the stuff we did down here. I'm just going to copy this come up here. Let's paste this in. What we want to do is add the period to whatever's to the end of this thing and then I'll put it back to the screen. Then we can go change this to an L if. So otherwise, if that already exists. So basically, if there isn't a plus sign already, then we'll test to say, well, does it have a dot already? If so, don't do anything. If it doesn't have a dot and it doesn't have a plus sign, then we can just put a dot at the end. So let's go ahead and save this and run it, see if that worked. Now that's not gonna fix our problem, but it's the first step. So let's go 3.0, uh, 0 0.3, that doesn't add a point, so that worked. We can now go plus 2.0, now that works. Problem is here now we can also still, because of this, add more dots, which is a problem. So now we need to fix that, which brings us to this guy right here. So we can split apart all of these things and we can say, hey, does the last item in this list already contain a dot? If it does, don't do anything. If it doesn't, okay, you can add one, right? So we can get the last item by calling numList and then just negative one. The negative oneth item of our list is the last item. So what we can do is we can say, hey, if there's a plus sign already, which means we've already got a couple of sets of numbers, right? And if there's a plus sign in there, and if it if there's a period is not in numlist negative one, right? So we're saying, hey, oops, let's go back here. We're saying, hey, if there's a plus sign and the last item of our list does not have a period, if there's a period not in, then we want to do this, right? Otherwise, don't do anything. So let's go ahead and save this and run this guy one more time. 
So we could go 3.0, let's try this 0.3. Okay, I didn't add a point there. Now we can go plus 2.0 and we can add another point. It doesn't do anything. We can keep going and we can just keep going. 3.2 point, okay, it doesn't add anything. And we can add equal and it adds it all up. And we can then 0 0.02 keeps on going and everything works. So pretty simple fix for that. It just, I was, uh, when I was writing that code yesterday, I sort of was doing it on the fly during the video and I didn't really stop to think it through. So good catch in the comment section. And uh, that's really all there is to it. So that's all for this video. If you liked it, be sure to smash the like button below, subscribe to the channel, give me a thumbs up for the YouTube algorithm and check out codemy.com where you can use coupon code YouTube one to get $30 off membership. So you pay just $49 to access all my courses, over 47 courses, hundreds of videos and the PDFs of all my best selling coding books. Join over a hundred thousand students learning to code just like you. My name is John Elder from Codemy.com and I'll see you in the next video.